Hey everyone, it's Poe here with Big Muddy Outdoors. It's May 6, 2016, and we're cutting it close to the wire because Big Muddy Outdoors still has not gotten the bird on the ground. Uh, Kenzie, Steve, and I, we're all three in construction, so this time of year it's really busy for us, and we really haven't had the opportunity to get out there and do a lot of scouting. So the times that we have gone out, it's been just a shot in the dark uh, on picking a site and getting set up, but and trying to get everything rolling with the cameras and everything like that, and it's a lot harder uh, throwing a camera in there, but this morning I'm heading... Uh, south of Marshall, Missouri. Uh, it's a farm that my uncle helps um, helps this farmer. And the farmer's name is Miles, last name. Kids and I went out there the open weekend and a lot of gobbles. Um, five or six tons. Just going crazy, but unfortunately they're on the uh, neighbor side and we weren't able to call them over but I'm going back there this morning I'm gonna set up in a different spot where we had been and hopefully I can get one of these tops to come in this morning I have a pretty good feeling about this morning uh, I told Kenzie last night and there's gonna be a bird on the ground so let's hope and pray <laughs> Stay tuned and we'll see what happens. There you go, guys. First bird of the season. Oh, man, my heart was pounding. I haven't had a Tom and Strut in front of me in forever, so. Yes. I still can't believe it. There's so many goblin going on right now. Um, I don't know. My heart's a pounding. But, oh, that was awesome. Thank you, Lord. Hey, everyone. 
my heart rate has gone down, so I actually gather my thoughts and tell you what went down this morning. It is uh, Friday, May 6th, 2016. Um, <clears throat> still can't believe it happened. But uh, a couple weekends ago, Kenzie and I were hunting just to the west of me right now and we had gotten up after nothing had came out into the field the first thing in that morning so we decided to come to this field and as soon as we got to this field in the tree line we had seen a tom come out of this corner but there was a coyote crossing the field about 200 yards this way which spotted or that scared that gobbler away so we never had a chance at it so I had a general idea that there is a bird roosted up in this area and uh, I told myself the next time I hunt down here I'm going to pick this corner of the field and I, he's a lonely bird from what I gathered uh, that's what I went off of is that there wasn't going to be any hens roosted around him or with him so I uh, chose this um, corner and I got in really early. Steve and I, yesterday, we were pushing it. And I think we got in a little bit too late. So this morning, I really <clears throat> made sure I was prepared and came out really early. And I picked a spot in the tree, or in the tree line. All I had was about three feet of cover or whatever. And then... <clears throat> Was just sitting, was just a waiting game. I was, I repositioned myself twice. Like I said, hunting with a camera is so much more difficult, especially when you're not in a ground blind or anything else. So I actually got behind a tree and had the camera in front of the tree, and I did it that way. So the morning kicked off, it just gobbling everywhere. I, I, mean, I can't explain to you. You can hear it on the video. Um, turkeys gobbling. But, and I heard this one, this turkey had gobbled, this time had gobbled. He's the first one in the morning. And I was like, okay, I'm set up in the right spot. So I sat there and wait, wait, gobbling, gobbling, gobbling. And then I have the camera rolling at the time. And I hear other uh, toms gobbling, but this bird had stopped. He stopped gobbling, period. I was like, okay, something's going on now. Either he's saw something that didn't like he didn't like and took off or flew down and went the other way or he just flew down and he's working his way to the cornfield and sure enough that's what happened as you see in the video he comes out and as soon as he spots the decoys in the field he's just he's flexing he starts strutting and that's when my heart started pounding um and like I said, you can see it in the video on what happened. He starts doing his little dance. He starts looking. I wanted him to get a little bit closer into the film in the shot, but um, I don't know. He's, he stood still there for a good, I don't know, 15 seconds. Seems like an hour, really. And he, I, I've had it happen many a times before where a Tom would come up into the setup and he just didn't like it. The, the decoys aren't moving, so... I went ahead and took the shot, and there we go. First bird of the season for Big Muddy Outdoors. I'd also like to give a big thanks out to my Uncle Rags for giving me the opportunity to hunt out here, and to the Miles family, because this is their farm. Thank you.
job, Kins. Yeah, baby. Well, how about that? Did you see how Lori came? <sighs> See his freaking beard? Oh, dude, I'm shaking. Yeah, dude, I'm sorry if the film's a little. I was like in an awkward position and they started getting closer. Oh, dude, I'm fucking shaking right now. Go up there and see him, kids. Oh, oh my god, though. Did you see your dad's truck? Did you? Kenzie, Big Money Outdoors. It is May 8th, last day of spring turkey season here in Missouri 2016. Uh, we're at Marshall, Missouri. Uh, got the opportunity to hunt a farm that Miles owns and Rags farms and run, runs for him. Uh, I want to say thank you to Rags and Miles for this opportunity. Uh, Poe had hunted this farm in the same field, just on a different end a couple days ago. Had the same Success got a bird to come in pretty early, and he was done by 6:03. Uh, we went out elsewhere yesterday. Uh, didn't have as much luck. Came here again today. Set up a little farther away because from what Poe had said, he had heard birds in this corner at the other end of the tent, other end of the field. So we set up there. Heard a lot of gobbles, but nothing really close. But we just stayed tight. And there's a fence row about 300 yards away. Had a gobble come in, came over the hilltop, and came right in. It was, it was a pretty amazing experience. Uh, never had that happen before, so it was an awesome experience. And uh, just want to say thank you again. Couldn't have done it without this opportunity. Thank you very much. Have a good day.